a lot of people look at my life and they see the, the music, they see the restaurant, they see the cookbook, they see me doing these type of things. And they, I think one of the common questions that I get is how do I do it all? And it's, you know, one of the things about making money that you need to understand is that you need to spend money in order to make money. So I could have a lot more money in my bank account right now if I didn't do the other things. Um, but it's about investing into projects, number one, that I'm passionate about. So I would never do anything that I'm not passionate about, regardless of how much money it makes me. Because waking up and feeling miserable about going to something is the worst feeling on planet Earth. There's nothing worse. I, I can't imagine waking up and thinking, ah, oh, I have to go and do this thing. So that's why I try and do the thing. So like music is what I love and breathe, and I, I would do that other than anything else in life. And then having the food thing was, was very random. It, it literally wasn't part of the plan. You know, like to the point that nowadays people will introduce me as like the foodie. And I'm like, yo, I'm a musician. Like I, I sing for a living. Like I have, I have some hit songs. Like I'm, Believe I'm kind it or of, not. I kind of have done one or two things. But um, with that, I, I literally posted a picture on Instagram. So I think one of the tips there that I would give to people is just that surround yourself, especially nowadays. And I think what's drastically different to Bravusi's days is that we have this world that is so small. So, and that's the World Wide Web, right? Yes. We all connected. It's sure. crazy how connected we are. Yeah. Um, and I posted a picture on Instagram on a, on a Monday because I got overwhelmed with music and the success. Mikasa grew so quickly that for me it was like, I went from literally like being a varsity kid to like being stopped everywhere for a picture and that, and that impacted me a lot. Like, yeah, it made me feel cool and stuff, but after a while that coolness fades away and then you just feel like, wow, like I'm, You're why, owned. why am I so like of the people? Yeah. And then what happens is your mind becomes overwhelmed at the more successful you become. And that's why I think a lot of these people go nuts and they go into drugs and they do all this crazy stuff because they're trying to keep up with what's happening. Sure. So I decided that I needed to do something that like broke away from all of that. And then I went and started cooking. It was literally like a Monday thing. I told my manager, like, I don't want to do anything on a Monday. No, but I don't care what money it is. I just want to relax with, with my girlfriend back then, who's now my wife. And like, I just wanted to chill. And, and I started cooking. And then the, the first thing that I cooked, I did the mistake, inverted commas, of Posted. putting it on Instagram. <laughs> and then everybody was like, oh my God, he sings and he cooks. And, and then it, it just grew. And now when I look back at it, like I have a cookbook that I did, which is like three times bestseller. I have a, I have a wow. restaurant that, from a hashtag to a restaurant. So I think the lesson in my, in my food thing has really been to do what I love chase my heart because my heart told me to like take a break and to do something and then also just to use this world that we have like we can talk to one another via any platform mm. so the structure that then i with the growth i then realized that i needed to stress so if i wanted to do a restaurant i needed six million rand if i wanted to get six million rand i needed to spend money in order to achieve that so it takes a lot of investment and spending in order to try and make more yes. but more importantly when i look at the amount that i've spent I don't think I've achieved the return that I wanted to achieve, but I've achieved the return in such a different way. It's made me happy every single day. Mm. And comes. I think that that is the best reward you could ever give yourself, is yeah. happiness. Have there you, been you, any... You, 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 you like him, man. I think I'm very much happy for you for doing that. Mm. Because there are also other things that we had to do, driven by passion, to be an entrepreneur, mm. driven by passion, yes. like starting the foundation mm. and the school. You don't make money in that, but instead you're taking money from yourself and doing that. Mm. And uh, you have to have passion to do that and be an entrepreneur who's driven by that passion and all sure. that. You have to respect your money so that your money must respect you. You know, learn to save your money in some way, create also other projects that will sort of like, you know, sustain you uh, in the long run or also in the year just to maintain that lifestyle. But you don't have to get into debt and getting advances unnecessarily unless you need that. And uh, I have a trust in quite a lot of places. There are things that I've invested on, but also getting trapped again into black tax. Hey. Uh, you understand what I'm talking about. I mean, there's some other extended families that you have to take care. Uh, 
school or whatever. You calculate that wisely, that you are spending it and everything, because you are investing as well to, 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 to some people in some way. Mm. But you're not just only spend, spending it roughly and all that. So we did that. And, uh, you know, invest again into some projects that will sustain your lifestyle and your career. Sure. And then from there on, they can just build on their dreams mm. in many different ways, like, like yeah. this young man here. Yeah. Thank you very pleased.